Okay, so let's run through how to set some times and temperatures on this controller. So right now at the bottom, the controller is set to off. So there's gonna be no call for heat from the boiler. We can select auto, and this will now look at our schedule at what we've set. To program the auto schedule, you need to do it under here, which is the prog button on the controller. Simply click prog and the screen will change. What's happening now is we've got on the left hand side, we've got six different set points for temperatures and time. And across the top, we've got days. So right now we're setting a schedule for Monday to Friday and we're flashing on the first schedule. So let's run through it. So we could set our controller to come on at six in the morning at 21 degrees. If you wanted to alter the time, simply press up or down, press okay. And then you can set the temperature you want it to be at 6.30 in the morning. So in this instance, we'll set it for 22 degrees, 6.30 in the morning. Okay, again. What you've noticed now is the cursor has moved down to position two. Now what we need to tell the controller is when to turn off on the first schedule. So we came on at 6.20 a.m. We can now set it to turn off at 10 a.m. and we want it to turn off to a lower temperature. So okay. What you need to do here is if you want the controller to be off, you need to set it at quite a low temperature. We turned it on on position one to be on at 22 degrees. We're now telling the controller at 10 a.m. turn down to 12 degrees. If you want the controller to be off at that time or just to a lukewarm position, just turn it down to around 10 degrees and click OK. And we move through different time zones. So you can have essentially three on points in a day and three off points. So work through those, set them for how you like it at different schedules. What's important to know is at the end of the last schedule, which is number six, if you, you need to make sure that if you don't want the heating on at night, that you turn this down to a low temperature. So in this instance here, it's saying at nine o'clock, we want the boiler to be 10.5 degrees at night time. If we leave that at a high position, then what it's gonna do is leave the boiler on at night. Once we pressed OK on the last schedule then, the controller then moved to the Saturday and Sunday settings. So again, you can work through them, set your six different time positions and different temperatures until you complete it. And that's done. So you don't need to go back, that's all saved, that's sorted. We can literally just go back to the auto setting now and our program is complete. You can use functions like copy certain time frames, copy certain days. There's more information that in the manual. If you don't want to set up a fully fledged schedule with different times and different temperatures because your pattern changes, then what you could do is simply use the off and the man program. So again, on our display, Right now, this is 24.1 degrees, 24.3 now. I'm holding the thermostat so the temperature is increasing. I could select the thermostat to be man, which essentially is on, but there's no flame sign indicated. Now that'll be because the set point temperature is lower than the current room temperature. You can find out what the set point temperature is by pressing either up or down and the screen will start to flash. So the temperature in my hand was 24 degrees, but the actual controller is only set to 20. If we increase the set point to beyond the current room temperature, in this instance 27.5, press OK, what you'll notice is the flame symbol is now on, and that means the boiler is calling for heat. Now, to turn this off, we simply press off, and the flame symbol goes away. You've got two ways to control this unit. You can either use the auto schedule, which you need to set in the program, or simply use the manual off and on. You could also leave the controller in manual all the time and simply turn the temperature up or down depending on whether you want the heating on or off. If the flashing temperature is lower than the current room temperature, the controller will turn off. If the flashing temperature is higher than the current room temperature, then the controller will turn on. 
So hopefully that's been a useful guide. There is more information in the actual booklet, the user instructions that came with the controller. This is a quick start reference guide to get you used to your new CombiPack 4 controller.